Hello everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome! We are gonna be doing a new version of what it looks like today. Mom, you can unmute yourself if you haven't. Did you unmute yourself? I did! Wow, look at this! This is fancy, isn't it? <laughs> so, hi everyone! Uh, this is a new tactic of what we are doing, trying to figure out um, what to do while mom's at the camper and I'm down here in the city working. <laughs> so this is going to be a fun trial and error to see how this works for us. Uh, if you're here with us live, please leave a comment. Love to see you. It looks like Jean's here. Kathy's here. Um, Hi, what's up, everyone? Let me go over and share it to our Facebook group. If you're not in our exclusive Facebook group, make sure you are. We like to... Whoa, choking. Um, wow. We like to have a lot of fun over there. So if you're not in it... I'm not there to keep the Heimlich. Hold yeah, on. <laughs> I know. I'm like, if I die, then I die alone. <laughs> Normally, Andy's here with me, but he's over at his dad's right now. So um, we're just doing this solo right now. Well, here with me, but not really solo. Right like, I'm still here, but... I'm at the camper. You're here. Woo -woo. So it's and not... I've got my vacation hair on. No makeup on. <laughs> Kiss. Sun-kissed skin. I know I got a little tan when I was there last. So, um, oh. looks like Yvonne's here now. Mary Jo, Holly. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Everyone. What is up, everyone? So, today we are obviously separate. It looks like Holly's here. Hi, Holly. Um, <laughs> we are going to be making a card that I actually made a while ago for an uh, Airbnb host that we stayed with. We made them a whole bunch of thank you cards because they you went there for a crafting treat and they're like what you make handmade cards we're like yeah so we made a whole bunch of them for being such nice and wonderful hosts um so yeah we are gonna make that today it uses a lot of colors um i don't have all the supplies because mom has <laughs> some of her yeah, happy mom. supplies so i blame her <laughs> pretty much yeah because this last time i couldn't decide what i wanted to work on and what i wanted to bring and so yeah I have them all here, pretty much, so yeah. Including embossing powder, which I was like, dang it, Mom, actually, do you have the, I don't even know if you left the heating tool here. The, the what? I'm, the heating tool? The heating tool. Yeah, I think we left that one there, because I got one here, so there should be one. Check, check in the, the little drawer okay. thing. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. I realized that we need that, so. We got it. We're good. Um, but hi, everyone. I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. <laughs> We're Stampy Before Anything Else, a.k.a. Stampy and Bay, mother-daughter crafting team that likes to laugh and craft. Hi, Autumn. Oh, my gosh. So uh, we are going to have some fun and just relax, hang out, um, get some crafting inspiration. We're going to do this in an alternative way. I'm going to post a similar one on Instagram. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's fun to see make how you make like a similar card using a little bit of a different products because sometimes you don't have exactly what somebody has when they're trying to make a card so uh exactly. we're gonna do that today so and it makes it really nice too though you could you just take the basics of taking that layout and then switching it up and using it for whatever you have on hand right old design series paper old card stock you know what have you so yeah, yeah, and since mom isn't here, guess who she left behind? Can you believe it? She left her watch. She left Bob Ross behind, guys. So, do you think I should wear it? Should I tease her about, like, not yeah, wearing her, it. her watch? Um, we got Bob Ross all behind, behind us here. We got this Bob Ross here that does a little poppy up. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, was, it's, oh, yeah, we found more more stuff too and, and I had to control myself from not buying it because yeah. Yeah, there was like what? a we were went to Walmart and there was a little figurine um of Bob <laughs> Ross Baba. and I was like, Mom, no. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because she even she stopped in her tracks and she was like, Oh and I'm like, What? What did you see? And she's like, Bob Ross and I'm like, Where? <laughs> <laughs> it was expensive too. So if you think I should watch wear the watch let us know in the comments and then I'll put that on. Um, but let's get started. Are you ready, yeah. Mom? Yes, I am ready. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, we'll see how many dimensionals I use. So keep me uh, in track. 
uh, we have our little dimensional counter up here in the top right. So um, I have to put them in manually normally. So you got to hold me, hold me responsible for what hold I'm going to do. Hold you responsible. Okay. Well, so, it's weird being on this other end here, Kayla. Yeah? Yeah. Just, just watching and seeing what everybody else is seeing. And uh. yeah. Oh, Autumn says, love Bob Ross obsession. Um, my 19 year old son uses his videos as ASMR to sleep. Seriously. Yes. I, it, we did this like years ago when Bob Ross first came on Netflix. And I was like, oh my gosh, Bob Ross. We literally, all four of us in the house, were turned Bob Ross it on. Was, it was actually watched. during the elections. And we were like, oh, was it? we need to calm down. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's what it was. And, uh, yeah, we all would sit there and just kind of zone out. And by the time we were done, we're like, all right, I'm going to stumble off to bed. See ya. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be an interesting learning period. So mom's talking because she can only see my face right now. She can't see that I'm ready to go on the table. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Look at yeah. that. Now I see. So yeah. she she's, I'm going to have to let you know, okay, I'm going to transition over to the table learning period okay right no that's okay I can I've got gotcha. you no I've worries gotcha. so what I'm gonna do is I have a piece of basic white cardstock here this is four by five and a quarter right now but we're gonna end up cutting it down because we are gonna color using all these markers and so uh, I'm gonna use our Stampin' Blends I love the Stampin' Blends they're my favorite you can color over um, and blend so nicely with these markers um, a lot better than Crayola markers, I'm just going to say that. So, <laughs> oh what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these colors and I'm going to create like a rainbow effect on this piece of paper. Um, and so, I'm going to list off the colors real quick, but basically this is light daffodil delight. Oh my goodness, light pumpkin <laughs> pie. Jean wants a peek at our camper. Ooh, it's a really Might have nice to camper. do that at the end. <laughs> a light poppy parade, dark poppy parade, dark polished pink, ooh, light calypso coral, light highland heather. What color is this? Light night of navy, light Tahitian tide, light Bermuda Bay, light soft sea foam, and dark wow. dark mint macaron. So we're gonna see how many colors we can fit on here. Uh, I've was able to fit majority of these on here last time, but you can do little stripes. Essentially, you're just gonna go back and forth. Um, they don't, it doesn't need to be perfect, right? Cause that's what card making is for, is you wanna make sure that it looks like it's handmade. So. Absolutely, and it turns out so gorgeous and it's really stunning in person. And so I highly recommend you guys to play around with your blends and come up with different color combinations on what she's going to be doing with this. And yeah, it just, I, I don't know. I love the rainbow spectrum of colors. It's one of my favorite things and it just makes me happy. And so when she did this um, at our retreat earlier this year, um, I was so amazed and was so happy when she did it. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't, your lines don't need to be straight. Um, I kind of just go in. And sometimes I make ones thicker, sometimes I make them thinner. That gives it, it it's really handmade look to it. Yes. Yes. So right now, and you, oh, go ahead. And I totally forgot that you had done this card. And um, when you when you showed me, you said, oh, I think I'm going to just do this. And I'm like, okay. I thought, I totally forgot you used markers with it. It looked like you used cardstock. Really? And cut the strips and glued them on, yeah. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna grab like light orchid oasis. Let's see if I like that one. Ooh, that Ooh. might be too dark, but let's go, let's go there. And then I'm gonna grab, oh, do we have two Highland Heathers? Oh, that's we, why. We do? I have, I grabbed fresh Freesia instead of Highland Heather. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna go in actually with light blackberry bliss and do a thin stripe of that one then we're gonna do light night of navy whoa hello wow. <laughs> that is a dark blue 
okay? And, you know, like I said, if you wanted this to not be a full rainbow spectrum, hey, it's Pride Month. Happy Pride. Um, if you want this to oh, not be hi. a full rainbow spectrum, focus just on the cool colors. Focus just on the warm colors. And then you're always going to get a little bit of a different card when you switch it up for these. So I actually think I ended you know, up making some... Are... Oh, go ahead. The, the blends, they come in two tips. And right now you're using the brush tip. Right. And the other end is the bullet tip. Yeah, so I can show you that here in a second. It looks like this marker is going to dry out soon. Yeah, I think our Calypso Coral we need to get a new one too. Yeah, light Bermuda Bay. It's a little, little dry. So now I'm going in with light sea foam. And then dark mint macaron. Ooh, ow. I think I'm going to grab, do we have green? Like a granny apple green? Or oh yeah, there should be. Granny apple green or there Shady's should be garden. We got old olive, I believe. Okay, let's try light shaded spruce so this is what mom was talking about there's the bullet tip and then there's the brush tip and what's nice is that they have the little images on the outside so you know which side is which without having to take the marker off plus they have like the thinner line because that's the size of the line that the bullet point makes bullet tip makes <laughs> and then this is a little bit of a thicker one which is what the brush makes so that helps you kind of keep that straight. Same if you accidentally turned it over and you didn't want to flip it around. You could still see the different brush stroke sizes on that. Oh, Jean mentioned Parakeet Party, too. Parakeet Party? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that's what I grabbed. That is. Oh, I grabbed that. dark pa oh. Parakeet Party. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Jean asked, uh, where do you actually park the camper at? We are up at... Um, uh, about 13 miles north of Detroit Lakes in Minnesota. Wow, look and how bright that is. Okay, sorry. That is really pretty. We've been at this campground for, this is our 12th season up here. Okay, so I think this is what I'm going to, I'm going to call it good. <laughs> we used all of these markers. Isn't that crazy? Uh, so pretty, but... I'll have a full list of everything <laughs> listed in the blog post that we have coordinated with this uh, live when, once we're done. And then we are going to bring in our trimmer. And so actually it looks kind of bright, so you can't even get like the true effect. There we go, of everything together. And Jean joined us over on um, YouTube as well. So hi, Jean. Hello, hello. So, okay, this we have like the little marker edges. We don't really like that, do we? So what we are going to do, let me make sure that's enough space. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to trim just the excess off. And so what I did is I just lined it up in my trimmer and cut it off. Easy, right? So then you get that marker effect to kind of go away and it doesn't look as sloppy. Kind of looks like you made, made your own DSP. So then this top part actually didn't color all the way to the top and obviously didn't color all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to cut those off too. Jean asked which lake we're on. Uh, we are on. Duh, don't say that. Oh, <laughs> we don't, you don't want me don't to see that? We don't need people to stalk oh, okay. us. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Not I'm saying that Jean would, but I'm just saying other people who might watch this. Like maybe oh, that's yeah. Not a good idea. So We'll tell you offline. Yes, if you message us offline, we'll let you know. So... This is the piece that uh, you will get when you're done. These colors are a little bit hard to see here, um, but those are that, what is this? Light Calypso Coral and Light Fresh Freesia. Freesia. Ah, so, very pretty. So that's what this looks very like. Pretty. Now, what I have is I have a piece of uh, basic white, thick basic white that we're going to use as our card base. I cut this at four and a quarter and then we scored it at five and a, five and a half, excuse me. And then we're going to glue this onto the front of the card like that. 
Okay, I'm not going to do it this second. But before we do that, we had a die cut that I put like a little sprig looking thing on the front of it. And I think mom has it or it's retired. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> she took all the die cuts with her. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying this out for the first time, okay? Because I'm like, mm, I have no idea how this is going to work. But this is how my brain works. So we're going to give it a go. <laughs> so let me get my colors off to the side here. So sorry about that. So it's, what I'm going to yeah, do. It's so hard to copy a card when I got the supplies. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really hard. Hi, Paula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Blushing Bride. You're like, why are you taking Blush and Bride, Kayla? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this from the Artfully Layered stamp set. That's this little leaf looking thing here. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to stamp it on a piece of basic white cardstock. And then I'm going to fussy cut it out or cut it out using an uh, X-Acto knife or I have a pocket knife. <laughs> so we're going to use a pocket knife um, because I can't find our X-Acto knife. So what, why I'm using uh, Blushing Bride is because I don't really need the full image to come through. I just need an outline to give me an idea of what- You're the, using that one. <laughs> that uh, tool, got it. What, yeah, oh yeah, you're delayed. You yep. can't see it. Yeah, I'm using yes, I am. Um, <laughs> yep, I'm seeing what everybody else is and wow, yep. Yeah, so yep. be careful um, when you do this. So. Oh gosh, I can't get I this. I now. Can't get this one part of the leaf to stamp. Get in the ink. So I'm using Blushing Bride because, like I said, I don't need the full image to come out. And then I'm gonna stamp that on. Wow, that ended up being a lot darker. That's okay. It won't show through. So I used a lighter color because um, I don't want it to bleed through the other side where I can see the stamped image. So that's why I used a little bit of a lighter color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over this mat. This is actually a cutting mat that we got online. Probably Amazon, to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm probably um, pretty sure. <laughs> so... What I'm gonna do is, this is where you need to be careful. I am going to take my knife. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you all so you can- Please kind of... be careful because that, yeah. Yeah, we don't need a- It's it's a utility knife. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna zoom in here. It's a little bit harder when I'm trying to coordinate everything, <laughs> but oh. there we go, okay. We are going to zoom in, we got that done, and then we're going to take it, if you don't want, actually I think I'm going to do this, is I'm going to take, I'm going to close the knife, I'm going to fussy cut around the outside first, and I'm going to go right up to the edge of the image basically. Normally when you're fussy cutting, you don't need, or you want to leave a little bit of basic white or whatever the background color is, so that way your image doesn't look as fake. I don't know. It looks cleaner when you leave a little bit of a bubble around mm -hmm. the image. Yep. So tip when you're fussy cutting is to move the paper and not your scissors. So if I get out of frame, just let me know because I can't keep an eye on myself while I'm cutting. Okay. <laughs> You're doing good. I'm, I'm like holding my breath as if I'm cutting it for you. <laughs> Why? Do you normally know. hold your breath when you're cutting? I don't know. I don't know. I, I must. I don't know. Does anybody hold I their breath it. while they're cutting? Is that just like a mom thing? I, I concentrate too much. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, I know I was taught, we talked about this like years ago, probably when we first started live streaming about how do you hold your scissors? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Do you use, do you hold your scissors using your pointer finger in your thumb or your middle finger in your thumb or some other weird combination, maybe like this? I use my middle finger. 
I do a finger, my thumb and my index finger, and then my middle finger kind of helps hold the the scissors. So kind of like scissors, time? Yeah. Kind of, well, almost kind of, yeah, like you're bowling. <laughs> like you're bowling? I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. And then you do it that way, but yeah, I tried doing it your way, and, and you might be able to get more control over it the way you do it. Yeah, because I have my pointer finger also pushing to on grab it. And hold and yeah, interesting. Let's I'm curious. See. What do you What do you all do? I'd love to see it in the comments, um, and maybe Mom can read them out well. <laughs> Jill, she goes, "Hello, peeps. Why does Kayla have a weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Why does Kayla have a weapon? Don't give Kayla sharp things. Yes. <laughs> Haven't you learned your lesson yet? No, I'm just kidding." Jill, she wants to know where I'm at. I am actually at the camper this week. So, and Kayla's at home. Um, we are trying this um, new thing here tonight to see how it works out. Yeah. So, and it seems to be working pretty good. Although I wish I was there participating and making a card with y'all. Well, you kind of are. I kind of am. Oh, you wouldn't be doing anything different from if you were actually here. Yeah, I, I, I'm used to making, doing the cards. And yeah, I think I'm concentrating for you as I'm watching you cut. <laughs> and I'm probably holding my breath because that's usually what I do when I cut. I don't know you why. you hold your breath. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. So the reason it's... why I got the knife out is like, Kayla, you can fussy cut everything. There's this area right in here that I can't really get in very nicely. So you could probably cut using cleaner limes with an X-Acto knife versus using these scissors. <laughs> Jenny goes, that's a crazy fussy cut. It is a crazy <laughs> fussy cut. But you'll Autumn, see the method behind the madness here in a second. Yeah, and Autumn says, she goes, um, I have to use the spring-loaded plier like scissors. Regular scissors kill my fingers. Ooh, interesting. I totally, I to totally see that. Yeah, these little ones are really, oh, really these tiny. These are bad. I'll show you when I'm done so you can kind of see it. Mom will have a delay. But I have, like, little marks on my fingers because I hold the scissors so tight. Oh, yeah, you totally do. Yeah. So I can't Ouch. really... Ouch. Ooh, Kayla. <laughs> I know, I know, that's why I don't really like fussy cutting is because it hurts. So you basically are fussy cutting the whole thing here. You won't need the, uh... No, the I, I, I still need it for this inside part here. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, right there, I see. That's okay. why I needed it. And I was like, hmm, maybe gotcha. I should just yeah. cut everything out myself with the yeah. scissors. Okay. So if you're fancy, and we are fancy... We have a brother scan and cut. Oh, yeah. Where you can just put it on a mat and the brother scan and cut scans it and then does exactly what it says. It scans it and then it cuts it. So. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, I like doing that, especially if I'm doing a lot of cards and there's no dies that match them. Um, I like using the brother scanner. Works pretty slick. Wow, that was a great idea, Kayla, what you did. Being that you don't have the dye there. Yeah. Honestly. Look at you. So, scary part. Um, got my X-Acto knife, theoretically. Uh, <laughs> it's just a utility knife, but we're going to use our cutting mat and very gently and carefully cut out this middle part to the best of our ability. Very slowly. I'm holding my breath again. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. And I'm going to take... Hi, Carol. Something pokey. And try to poke this thing out. Aha, it Hi. worked. Welcome, Donna. Uh, it looks a little messy, but it works. So I'm going to close this it. up. Yay! Put it over to the side so I don't hurt myself. I think I'm going to try to trim this back up because it kind of cut weird. So, we are not going to use the, the side that we put the color on. We're going to use the back side. 
we're gonna use the white side. What you could do is you could probably cut two of this out, two of these out, up, whatever, right? So we took the stamped image from the Artfully Laird okay. stamp set into that. Can I say something really quick? Go for it. I'm just curious, is Kayla glitching for you guys or is it just me? Just curious, I wanna see what you guys are seeing. Um, I think I'm glitching a little bit. I don't know why. Are you? I saw okay. that. So- Hey, have they, can you tell me one thing? Is there spray paint on our yard? What? Like paint lines or whatever, or no flake in the yard? Okay. Okay, so now we can kind of see our card coming together. I'm gonna put this, oh, right, we're using the white side. Okay, so that's what it looks like, <laughs> like that, okay? And now, again, mom took the white embossing powder, so we're gonna use silver <laughs> embossing powder um, to do this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same stamp set, the Artfully Laird stamp set. We are going to take you know, we have, hey there, thank you, happiest birthday wishes, sending all the hugs. I'm gonna use the thank you one. And I need a little block. Maybe. That's a pretty, pretty stamp set. I love, I love the stamp set. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, hello, Versamark. <laughs> so we're gonna take Versamark and we're gonna do the silver embossing powder. So I'm just taking the Versamark He's stamping my stamp in the stamping pad. And we're gonna stamp it on a piece of basic white or basic black cardstock that says thank you. Have y'all seen in the new mini catalog that they have that embossing powder tray now? It's like an embossing kit. Um, yeah, I'm wondering when everybody's going to be getting their catalogs. Hopefully, if anybody um, has gotten their new mini catalog besides demonstrators, let us know. Um, I know demonstrators have early access to them, and we did send them directly to, from Stampin' Up! this time um, to our customers and those who have ordered from us in the past. So hopefully you'll be getting those in the mail here soon. So in the new mini catalog there's an embossing kit and in that embossing kit comes a little tray for you to easily you know just take the embossing powder from the little cup that it comes in dump it onto the tray or dump it on your image and have the image over the tray it'll collect it and you can easily put it back in the little bottle that it comes in the embossing powder comes in comes with an embossing powder or embossing buddy which is like a little i should have used that i have one right here it's this little thing you rub it on the piece of cardstock, it gets rid of the static, it gets rid of the fingerprints. Um, it's really great, I should have done that because if you don't do it, this is kind of how messy it looks afterwards. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow on it. Sometimes that helps. But also that comes in the kit, which I can't find one right here right now, but is like a little brush. So I'm gonna, I don't know where our brush went, but there's a little brush that you can use to brush off any extra pieces of embossing powder. This one looks a little messy. That's okay. So we're using silver because mom has the white. Shame on mom. I do. I'm just sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to put this back on. Da -da. We're going to get our M. A heating tool. I was like, what is this called? Our heating tool. We are going to plug that in. Ooh, knocking stuff over back here. Okay. Ooh, Kitty Kid said, I don't know if anyone has seen these, but there is a freehand cutting blade made for fussy cutting. Look up the gyro or gyro cutter on Amazon. I have seen those and I thought, I think it kind of wraps around your finger. It is the coolest thing. Really? Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Okay, so I have my heating tool. We are going to heat up our embossing powder. I apologize for the sound. So when you do this, it's like magic. You see, all of a sudden, the powder starts to kind of meld together, creating a shiny effect. Um, there we go. I can see it a little bit better. 
So we got that done. If you want, you can take a punch. Sorry, I'm trying to get the heating tool out of the way. You could take a punch and you could punch out the sentiment using a little punch if you wanted to, because it looks like that would work. I'm not gonna use it because I don't like ovals. I don't know why. You don't uh, like ovals? I don't like ovals. Oh, interesting. Fun I never knew that. <laughs> oh. And I was I was gonna say I miss the oval dies that we used to have. Yeah, I'm just I'm mm -hmm. not a fan. So what I'm gonna do is you could fussy cut this or you could just use like some straight lines, what which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and just <laughs> cut out our sentiment. Easy peasy. Like so. Ooh, both Melanie and Kathleen are joining us from Florida. Hello, lady. Hello. So what you could do is you could leave it cut like that. I actually don't like it, so I'm gonna cut it out simply by just rounding some of these corners, trying to get a little bit closer to the font. Don't really like the harsh lines. So we're just going to cut this out a little bit, make it look a little nicer, round some of these corners. Look at you. Are you proud of my fussy good. cutting? I'm channeling I am my mom. Good, good girl. Oh. Look at you go. <laughs> so we got our thank you cut out now. Just brush everything to the side. We'll deal with that later. And then now we're gonna just assemble. Okay, so our thank you is gonna go, you can put it down here, you can put it up in the middle, figure out what works best for you, but I'm gonna take our glue and we are just gonna glue our colored piece that we did at the beginning to the front of our basic white cardstock. Ooh, let's not make it crooked, Kayla. That's pretty. Okay, so we got that. Then we're gonna take and put the glue on the color side of our stamped image. So we want the white side to be showing. Got quiet. <laughs> um. Okay, so Kitty, uh, Kitty Kid um, said, I have been learning cards for only two years. 90% of the stamps were given to me, so I, I have to fussy cut. That's why she ordered the, the Euro cutter. And she says it's not here yet, but you have to let us know what you think of that because I have seen those before and i um, really curious to see how it works, if it really does do the trick. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see. I, what I'm imagining is, um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna take uh, some mini dimensionals and put these on the back of the, the sentiment. But for that Ooh, cutter, what I'm imagining you. is, um, you know those quilt cutters or fabric cutters that are kind of on like mm -hmm. a wheeling knife? That's what I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? It's it's kind of, if this is the same one that I saw, because um, I'm not quite sure if it's the exact same one, but it's, it's kind of a thing that loops around your finger and you hold it and then it's got a swivel um, blade on the tip of it. So as you go around, remember? Yeah. And I thought you saw that. Yeah. So as you're tracing, it it swivels and turns with uh, the image. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Autumn said those are rotary cut cutters. So no. Yeah. Yes, I remember seeing that video now, and it was like super. I was like, that's so fancy. Okay. Kathleen, I am at the lake at our camper and Kayla's at home. So, and I brought all my supplies, almost all the supplies. I thought I left some back home for Kayla and she's like, yeah, no mom, you didn't. Yeah, and we've got pretty, oh, pretty good much the words here. Words are hard. I need to make a shirt that says that. So we got our sentiment on there. We used, I always say we, cause I'm used to like mom being here with me. Um, but I, I used five dimensionals. Hi, Bella. Thanks for liking our video. 
Um, so I used five dimensional, so I'm gonna add it to our little dimensional counter up here. Just give me a second, cause I didn't fully channel mom today with using 20,000 <laughs> dimensionals. I could have probably put dimensionals on the back of our like rainbow piece here, but we're not done. Okay, let me put my, well, just kidding, we are done, cause mom has the embellishments too. <laughs> Oh, I do donut, and do. we left them at the lake last time too. Yeah, because oh I don't goodness. think I have any. Let's see here. Um, you might have something in the drawer. You, yeah, you should. Oh, yeah. You said just open up a new package. Opal rounds. There you go. I don't know if I want to open it though, because it's brand new. Well, that's okay. We'll use it. Are they current? Uh yeah. Okay. Oh, there's some rhinestones in there too. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, those are Wait, are the matte, matte black dots still current? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna use the matte black dots. Ooh, good Hi, idea. Karen. What's the cool glue holder? It is a glue holder that we got off of Etsy. Um, Etsy, yep. Cujo, 3D. That's all you have to do is go to Etsy, type that in, and you'll find them. Um, but yeah, they're 3D printed. So I'm gonna They're take our take your pick tool here. Take your pick tool. <laughs> um, if you're using you this, I left, that home? I left that home for you. You did. Thank you. I did. Because you don't use it. <laughs> no. I use it. Uh, so the take your pick tool is pretty awesome. It has this little putty end. Um, you don't want when you get this. You don't want to screw the top right away. You like all the way down. You just squeeze it a little bit, twist it a little bit, and That's some of the putty will know. slowly come out. So. Just use this, and then we are going to use that to pick up our dots. Well, now it, it adhered to the back of the. <laughs> Didn't stay on the <laughs> sticky on the the uh, acetate piece, so I was like, "Well, shoot." Okay, so we're putting those on there. We've got some smaller dots up here that I'm going to grab, too, and put that on there. I think for the original card that I did for this. I used the opal dots. Oh, okay. But this is kind of fun because it makes it look. Oh, I lost that one. It makes it look a little bit more. A little more bold. I don't know. So I don't think I like those. Anyway, we can always <laughs> change those out. <laughs> so this is the final card. Y'all have to watch our Instagram. So if you go to at Stamping Bay. B A E over on Instagram. Um, make sure you're following us over there. I'll post a version that kind of looks like this. It's a little bit different, so that way you could see like an alternative. If you don't have the supplies that I have, maybe you have the supplies in that video. So you can use really any leaf stamp and just fussy cut it out. Use any leaf die cut that you might have, and just a little pretty sentiment in any of the colors that you want, and you can easily like, make yeah. this card. Yeah, so. it's it's pretty cool. It's yeah. really awesome. I liked her first one, and I like this one. They, it turns out there's no right or wrong on it because they they both turned out gorgeous. Right, I know. I'm like, it's a little bright, so you can't fully see all the colors, but it kind of just gives it that pretty shadow effect. I don't know. Yeah, so I love cool, it. so cool. Very, very pretty. So, um, mom wanted us to talk a little bit. Oh. Now you can see her behind the scenes. <laughs> Some things we got going on. So if you're not aware, we do product shares every time a new mini, every time a new catalog comes out, I should say. So we have a product share that's going to be, that is open right now for you to join. If you go to stampybay.com and click on blog, it will bring you to this post and you can click on the post. Um, and you essentially can get all of the new designer series paper that's in this mini catalog. So we have them all listed out here. You'll get over 98 sheets of paper for only $45. If you were to buy this all on your own, it's $132, guys. Like, all of the wow. paper together, if you were going to get it on your own. Plus, we're including some of the celebration paper as well. So, you'd have to put in a really big order to get all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. doing that. Um, and then we also have a ribbon share as well with all the new ribbon that is in the new mini catalog. So again, same thing, over 32 feet of ribbon combined. You would be saving almost $50 by joining this share instead of trying to buy it on your own. And the ribbon share is only $14. So 
You just pay shipping on that. Registration for this is going to close on June 30th because we're going to order the product the morning of July 1st. So right. make sure that you are registering. Um, to register, there's an online form that you will fill out. Once you have that filled out, then you'll get a confirmation email. We'll start sending out invoices for that starting uh, in the last week of June. So I think that's starting June 24th, I think is the first yeah. day we can start sending those out. So um, yeah, we got that going on. I love our product shares. It's always my favorite time of the year um, is to get my hands on all the new products. But yeah, anything you want to say fun. about the product share, Mom? No, I think you did a great job. Um, we do package it up for you really nicely and send it off to you. And um, yeah, I, I, it's one of my favorite time of the, times of the year as well because we get to see the, the new product right away in our hands, look at it, and then we too can also decide, oh, which one do we like and yeah. we want to get more of. <laughs> Helps so, us out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But also we have a card swap going on at the same time too. Card swap's free to participate in. All you have to do is send us the cards to uh, obviously swap them out. And so you'll pay for the shipping for them to get here and then also the return shipping as well. So all the swap guidelines are on our blog. You can check out one of our recent card swaps, but you'll make 11 cards of one design. One design, people. So make 11 of the exact same card. And then you're going <laughs> to, we are going to keep one of those cards and then you'll get 10 back in return of all the other different cards that um, people send in. So you'll want to make sure you follow these directions. Minimum of two layers, one embellishment. It's a full size card. Um, examples of what the boxes look like that we've kind of had people send stuff in. But you want to make sure that you fill out this form so we know who's going to participate. And we know that we have everybody and I got all your information so I know who to send it back to, all that kind of stuff. So uh, cards are going to be due at our house on June 28th. I think that's it. So do you have to use all current Stampin' Up items? Uh -huh. So you mm -hmm. use Stampin' Up products only. It could be current or retired. So it gets you using the stuff that you might have. Just as long as it's Stampin' Up, you can participate. If you had something yep. from 20 years ago, use it. As long as it was Stampin' Up, that's all we care about. Um, oh, and everybody does such a fabulous job. Yes. They really do. We get some really good quality cards. Um, yep. on there and then I'll, oh 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 okay sorry <laughs> I was looking <laughs> on the wrong thing but also uh celebration is going to be starting in July which is yes. when you get to get free pop product with your purchases so that's something to keep in mind that's going to be coming up here in the next month and it's two months so July and August are, is going to be celebration and that's when you get your hands on all the new stuff from the main catalog. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If my mom was still alive, she'd be loving the new, uh, the, what is it? The hippos. The hippos. <laughs> the hippos. My mom loved hippos. So They're so love. cute. They're so adorable. Yeah, they are adorable. <laughs> okay. What else do we have going on? Um, Last chance items are up on the website as well, stampinbay.com slash shop. Um, you'll get some hefty uh, good sales going on right now and some things that once they're gone, they're gone. Um, yep. So that's kind of what also is going on. What else? Um, product of the month. We have our product of the month um, uh, free with the purchase through yep. us is the heart pearls that are in uh, the annual catalog. They're super adorable. Um, so anybody that purchases with us this month will get those for free. And yeah. usually at the end of the month. Yeah, so we send those out at the end of the month. But also if your purchase is over $50, you qualify for our loyalty rewards. So if you go to, again, stampybay.com, click on freebies. Um, oh, actually, wow, where'd it go? Oh, I... Yeah. I just realized they don't have it on here. But freebies, you can get five free tutorials if you join our newsletter, um, if you're not a part of that already. But it's loyalty rewards. Loyalty hyphen rewards is the last part. And then I need to add that to here. Anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think you when you click on a blog post, when you click on blog and then you click on the actual blog post, oh, yeah. it comes up that way, doesn't it too? 
Oh, We're in the anyway. middle of redesigning our website a little bit, so <laughs> things are kind of moving around. But yes, it's this purple sheet here when you click on a blog post. Eventually gets you a free stamp set of your choice. All you have to do is just track your orders with us. You'll get your product of the month, and you'll get um, points towards your loyalty rewards. And I know quite a few of you have taken advantage of that. So, um, oh, absolutely. Why you, not? Well, if you have any questions, just let us know. <laughs> um, one other thing before we are done, I um, want to mention that um, it was announced that Stampin' Up! is going to be discontinuing the magnetic cutting plate um, again <laughs> i am so sad about it because we have loved ours yes. and it, it's been no problem i have no problem with that whatsoever but there are some other demonstrators and other people that were having um some issues where they did a lot of die cutting with it and it was coming apart in the middle and um it just wasn't um again meeting their quality so what's going to happen is that anybody that has purchased them, you will get an issued refund within 45 days, I think is what they had mentioned. So um, you'll want to be on the look for that. Um, you can still continue using it, even if you're not having any issues. If it works issues. for you, then go for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you will get refunded um, regardless of whether it's, um, it works for you or not. So just a heads up on that. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you guys are ever interested in wanting to get a discount, please let us know. We would love to talk with you to tell you of some different options on how to get a discount on your crafting supplies. Because, you know, gas is expensive. Really expensive. I just paid, I, I paid $60 oh. to fill up my car today, Mom. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, $60. I was like, are you kidding me? I have a small car. <laughs> a small car yeah so I mean especially nowadays if you're looking to save a little bit of money it's as if you're shopping with a coupon when you go to the store you know why not why not get a discount on it um anyway so any questions on <laughs> she that she talks a lot <laughs> no, I do um I just want to make sure we're getting everything out there so everybody knows anyhow it was so fun to hang out with you guys even though I'm not with Kayla in person. I'll be seeing her in two days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She'll be seeing me soon. So thanks for hanging out with us tonight, everyone, especially in this new format with her over there um, and me here. Uh, so I think this worked <laughs> out. If it did, leave us a comment. I want to see, did you like this? Did you not like it? I know we're nice to have next to each other in person, but oh, yeah. sometimes it doesn't work out. So anyway, uh, we it, hope to see yeah. you next. Well, we like this. What? I was gonna say, next next Thursday, are we gonna be live? Yeah, I don't know. You interrupted me, so I was very confused. Sorry, <laughs> anyway, I did. I'm sorry. See, this next is what happens. Next Thursday, we will be live at 7 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you come hang out with us. Um, if you do anything in the meantime, let us know. And yeah, we will see you in one week. Are Are you sure though? Oh, shoot. No, I'm going to be in Denver. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> we'll have to figure something out. I don't know. Maybe I'll make mom go we'll live by herself. Out. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we could do a recorded video or something ahead of time. Who knows? We'll, know. figure we'll figure it out. Okay, everyone. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, everyone.